Alongside Brent Hubbs, I'm Austin Price for the two-minute drill on this Tuesday. Joey Halsley, I thought it was a fascinating interview, Brent. Kind of talked about how they broke things down with Hendon Hooker. They went back to last summer watching him play basketball and how happy he was on the basketball floor because he knew he was the best player on the court versus kind of more business-like on the football field. Joey said, I want you to play football the way you play basketball. Yeah, pretty simple. Too serious. I know that's crazy to say. Joey Halsley said, the game's fun. Look, you got to work hard. you got to do everything you need to do. Keep doing that, but relax and enjoy the game. And he said, if you go and look, as the season progressed, the more he relaxed, the better he played. There's obviously a lot of excitement around where Hendon Hooker's development is, a lot of excitement and comfortable or uh, comfortability, if you will, with where they are having a number one guy. Joey Hulls would talk about his life is easier, not trying to manage four guys to figure out who gets reps, all that. There's a clear-cut guy, number one, and then he feels very comfortable with his pecking order behind and the relationships those guys have with each other. Yeah, speaking of uh, Joe Milton, who's the number two, talked about how much work they put on touch throws, you know, and kind of breaking him down, trying to get him improved. I, I know that's something that, that fans, they go, oh, that's, that sounds simple. But it's, a, it's obviously a hard thing to, to learn how to throw at different arm angles, different touches on different balls. Well, it's interesting because you, you hear one breath, you hear Joey Halsey talk about, look, we want every guy out there to rip it. Okay, that doesn't mean you throw it as hard as you can, right? Sure. I mean, you got to rip it, Just meaning your hand. be aggressive and, 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 you know, push the ball down the field. Trying to get Joe Milton, and he's talked about how much they worked with him across the middle with accuracy and things like that. Continued work in progress there. But again, the one thing you like about Joe Milton, he didn't pack up and go home. I mean, he still wants to be a part of things here. He's got a good relationship with Hendon Hooker. Wants an opportunity. Would love to have an opportunity to play. We'll, we'll see what happens with him. But it's a com there's a comfort level with having an experience back up and then try to continue to develop David Jackson as you move forward. Spoke to four offensive freshmen, the two running backs, Squirrel White and Masai Reddick. Um, the, the theme was speed, especially with Dylan Sampson and with Squirrel White. Squirrel White said he had topped out on the GPS at 23.6 miles per hour. Dylan Sampson, 22.5. Tennessee continues to add team speed. Yeah, no doubt. And, and I think it's not just straight line speed with those two guys. I think it's the ability to play football fast. And there is a difference, right? We've seen track guys who can really run, but it doesn't translate into football fast. You watch them on the practice field, there's shiftiness, there's elusiveness. It's not just raw straight ahead speed. I know the GPS miles per hour everybody gets fired up about because it tells you how fast a guy really is in the open field. But how do you get to the open field? And that's something that Squirrel White's shown the ability to do. And that's something that Dylan Sampson said attracted him about the Tennessee offense. The way they do things creates different running lanes and opens the field up for him. He and Justin Thomas feel very comfortable in what they're doing schematically. I'm curious to see Dylan Sampson once pads get on. Final thoughts, uh, impressions from day two? Well, again, Kamal Haddon, we've talked about him in the offseason. We, we think he's going to be a starter at corner. He's carrying himself like a starter right now. He really is. His, his whole approach is different. He's head, you know, first in the line. He's engaged in conversations about technique with Willie Martinez. He carries himself very different. A lot more maturity, I think, out of Kamal Haddon the first couple of days. I like what the tight ends did today in the passing game. I thought Jacob Warren looked fast. Looks bigger than he has been. Miles Campbell made a couple plays. I think the key thing for Miles Campbell, Austin, is can he block? Can he eliminate the missed assignments and, 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 the, and the mistakes mentally there? They need a third tight end on this roster. They want it to be Miles Campbell. Can Miles Campbell run with it and take that job this preseason? He is Brent Hubbs. I'm Austin Price. That's a look from campus. Day two of fall camp is in the books.